Hi, this is Jay Yulowski, and here's another tip to help blend your images together when you're creating composites. So a lot of times when you grab different elements or different images to bring into a composite, you'll notice there's like a little either white edge or black edge around whatever the element is. So in this case, in this grass that I have here, you can see there's a dark edge kind of around the outside of all these uh, blades of grass here. So what we want to do is get rid of that because that's one of the things that will make you know this particular element stick out in a composite. It will just look like it won't fit because the edges just seem too sharp, too clean, different color, uh, and just does it just doesn't blend in. So to take care of that, what I want to do is select the layer that this is on, and I want to go to Layer under the Photoshop menu on the top bar there, Layer, and you want to go to Matting and Defringe. So depending on the resolution of your image, uh, the, the pixel amount will change. In this case, I'm going to use one. I'm going to click OK. And you can see there, it defringed the image. It basically took away all the dark edges there. So now when I take this and bring it into a composite, it'll fit in and it'll blend in much better than it would if we left that dark edge around all of the uh, blades of grass here. So it's a real quick way to help clean up your selections and your images and when you're trying to build a composite. The one other way that you can try if that doesn't work, if the defringe doesn't work so well, under the same layer menu and then matting, you have remove black mat and remove white mat. So if you're pulling your image off of either a black background or a white background, you can try one of these two options to help clean up that edge and get rid of any white mat or black mat um, that may be around the edge of whatever it is you're pulling off that background. So again, defringe is what I used here. Most of the time that's going to work well for you and if not you can try the other two. So I hope this was helpful and I hope that you can use these techniques as you move forward creating composites. Thanks for watching.